All right, I want to thank Mark Cathaway and many others who sent me the link to this congress.gov HR House Resolution 6666. I mean, they say you can't make this up. You really can make it up, but why would you have to? Because our reality, the truth, is much stranger than fiction. I want to go to the PDF of this, and I want to show you an example of how this is going to play out. HR 6666, quadruple six. To authorize the Secretary of Health and Human Services to award grants to eligible entities to conduct diagnostic testing for CV-19 and related activities such as contact tracing. Now remember, contact tracing is just a euphemism for constitution trampling. They're going to come to your house to take away your rights to keep you safe because we got to do this contact tracing and we got to do all this testing because we have to save people from cv19 through mobile health units and as necessary at individuals residences and for other purposes activities we're going to talk about these activities this act may be cited as the cv19 testing get this reaching and contacting everyone act called the trace act outside of maybe the patriot act i can't think of anything more potent in the arena of removing your rights and trampling the fourth amendment the right to be secure in our persons houses papers and effects as a matter of fact this is the exact opposite of the fourth amendment if you were going to put a title on house resolution 6666 it would be the anti-fourth amendment act Look at this. They may award grants to eligible entities to conduct diagnostic testing for CV-19 to trace and monitor the contacts of infected individuals and to support the quarantine of such contacts through mobile health units, testing individuals and providing individuals with services. Doesn't that sound great? Hey, we're here to help you with services. We're going to serve mankind related to testing and quarantine at their residences. Got a bunch of activities, activities, the activities. What are those activities? Constitution trampling, anti-Fourth Amendment activities. Basically what they're saying is you don't have a right to be secure in your persons, houses, papers, and effects. And then one thing we have to consider is how much is this gonna cost? Who's gonna benefit? Follow the money. It's going to cost, oh, just $100 billion for fiscal year 2020. That's a tenth of a trillion dollars. Key bono. Who benefits? Now, I want to, I could say a lot of things about HR 666, but I just want to show you how this could potentially play out by showing you this video right here. This was uploaded on May 2nd, just a couple days ago. Today's the 10th, eight days ago. And It says family forced to hospital, police state insanity in Canada. And underneath in the description, it says police took us from home by force to psychiatric facility for our hunger strike. So these people aren't free in Canada to have a hunger strike because if you do that, cops come into your house and forcefully take you to a psychiatric unit. Listen to this. We don't want to have to physically force you, okay? I don't have to listen to you. If you don't want to have to physically force him, then what are you doing standing in his house? Otherwise, we have to go hands on. We have to handcuff you and put you back for a cruise. Because you are not my authority. Because you're not our authority. Our authority is God. We're acting under our authority, okay? I don't care. And I respect you. You don't 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 care. You don't care that authority. I don't care. But we do have that authority, okay? So who wants to go first? I don't care. Do you have shoes? No, I mean, I don't know if you have shoes on. I know that you have flip-flops, but... So this is going to happen, folks, but it's just a matter of how you... How you... <clears throat> just say it like you mean it, cop. What, what's this that's going to happen? We're going to initiate unjust force and violence on you. We know you haven't done anything wrong. We know you haven't harmed, threatened to harm anybody. You haven't stolen anybody's stuff. But we're here standing in your house against your will, without your consent. We're about to arrest you, kidnap you, and cage you. We don't want to do it, but we're just here following orders under the authority of the state. You want to go barefoot? Okay. Can you stand up, please, sir? Wherever you want. Can you stand up, please? No. 
Come on, you have to stand up. Can you stand up, please? Please do this. I beg of you one last time I'm going to ask you. Stand up on your own. I want to just stop right here. This is how the Trace Act, HR 6666, is going to play out. So imagine this being your brother, your sister, your mother, your cousin, people you love. Cops are going to come into your house and say, hey, you've been infected with CV-19 and we need to save the community. You have to come with us. Okay, just put your hands behind your back, please. Thank you. You are sick people. Well, I just did this you know, a long time ago and a long time ago. That you, know, you know what's ironic about this whole thing? They're calling this guy sick because he's on a hunger strike and they're going to take him to the psychiatric unit. And these people are the, these are the ones that are the psychos. The psychos are the ones that come into your house without being welcomed in. The psychos are the ones who pull you off your couch and handcuff you so they can take you to a psychiatric facility. The psychos are the ones who think they can run roughshod over people's rights and think that that's okay because they're just following orders. Brothers and sisters. And is that okay? Is that too tight? Ma'am, would you like a bag or anything? Put my socks and yes. flip flops for later. Or should we so we're here to obey for this. Okay. okay. You. Can you stay still on the lock? You. What do you guys want to do about the dog? You will pay for this. Leave, leave him home. Let me make just a real quick observation here. If anybody else conducted this kind of activity in somebody else's house unwelcomed and tried to kidnap somebody, let's say they were just wearing plain clothes and they were just regular street thugs. Everybody would see this for the criminal activity it really was. But for some reason, a veil lays thick over the eyes of individuals who see these guys as law enforcers and somehow it makes it okay because they're wearing costumes and badges. That's the insanity of today's society. Open okay, so once we're ready to leave, I'll just open the bathroom door and then, okay. You understand, we have to act on that, right? We have no discretion. Depending on the human... Joe, When it comes to this job, I guess not. If we were to ignore that... Do you want to put your flip-flops on to go to the cruiser? No. You want to go with that? Yeah, probably best, yeah. Okay, so we'll just wait until you get inside. Okay, if we ignore that... We would be held accountable. Because that's right. We've that's sworn right. we've sworn to do this. But then right? but then you would know lose your soul. Right now. I'm sir, sure we, sir, would you like to put your flip-flops on to walk wait. to the car? Wait. No. Wait. No? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. We'll take I'll come back in and then we'll just wait. They're gonna get oh, yeah. I'll come back on Do you have shoes you're gonna want to put on in? No. No? Okay. I apologize that this has come to this, okay? But we're just uh, we're just doing what we have to do, okay? I realize you don't agree with it, but just doing what we have to do. We're just doing our jobs, ma'am. We're just kidnapping people and caging people and taking people against their will. That's that's our job. We really just didn't want anyone to get hurt, okay? It's unbelievable. Do you have a key you want to lock the front door with, or? No, it's fine. No, don't leave it open. So when, once we're done and you're outside, I'll just open the door to the bathroom, let Rocky out, and then we'll close the front door. Yeah. Okay. And you want us to leave the front door open, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look how nice the criminals are being. They're so nice, and and they're handling these people with such dignity as they trample their individual rights. So you're welcome to film us up until the point where, but we are going to have to take, you can't take the phone in the back of the cruiser, okay? Sorry? You can't take the phone in the back of the cruiser, so once once we apprehend you, you'll have to turn the phone over. You can either leave it here, or we can put it with the officer in the front of the cruiser. Once we kidnap you, you're going to have to relinquish your phone, and you're going to have to stop recording our criminal activity. That's what he's saying. These people have no soul. Whatever you want to do. Would you rather leave the phone here or? I'll leave it here. Okay.
And they're doing this because they know they can. They know they're going to get away with it. They know they have qualified immunity and they're protected by the state and the courts and the judges. It's unbelievable how you're able to cloud your conscience. You lost your morals. Well, man, we'd be in trouble if we didn't do our job, right? I understand. I love that. It's amazing how you're able to quell your conscience. You've lost your morals. That's exactly right. You know, you, dude, you know you're doing wrong. And you're trying to justify it by saying, hey, we're just doing our jobs. We're just following orders. The most dangerous people on the planet are those people who just follow orders. They turn their minds off. They suspend their critical thinking. They, they put their morals in suspended animation so they can do evil things to their fellow man. Dan, you don't agree with our job, but we'd the, be in trouble if we didn't do it. The job is only to feed yourself. And you could, do, you could have another job. That's not an excuse. The job is not a virtue, any, any job. So basically, this cop is saying, well, I'm going to keep my job because it puts food on the table. It doesn't matter if my job necessitates that I do that, which is wrong to my fellow human beings. Sleeps on the system. I believe we're all slaves from the system. We're it's not. The nature of owning we are not anymore. The bills, taxes, like all that stuff, no, right? we are not anymore. Well, we're free. And I understand you're in some trouble. That's your business. But in order for us to... Every transaction on a daily basis, all your bills you got to pay, and buy groceries and so on. And I know you're making your own. We're when you make to that system, no, our only choice is to no. Have a job. When you make a few decisions, you can buy things. Why not? You can grow your things. We want all self I can't have a yard like this. My yard's about this big. There's no way I could grow all that. And why? Because I can't afford it anymore. The there are, there are plenty of farms around. You. Very cheap. You can change it. Totally and, uh, there are plenty of options. Okay. So she can either, you either put it into property and we'll take it with us to the hospital, or you can turn the phone off and just leave it here, okay? Do you choose to leave the phone here? Yeah, if, you, if you're saying you're not going to let me... Well, you can't phone? have the phone in the back of the cruiser. That's just policy, right? So. Can I have it in bring? the hospital? No, you can't you're have the phone in the hospital, but you can go in a property bag for you if you wish. For when you get the released. Hospital. In a property bag? Like okay. okay, in a bag. We'll keep your stuff separate. Okay, I'll leave it. Okay, can you stand up please, ma'am? It's Did unbelievable. you want to put some shoes on? That's fine. Okay, can you stand up please? And that's where the video ends right there. So what we got here is a bunch of order following soulless human beings who are more than willing to carry out acts like HR 6666. Guys, please share this video with everybody you know, everywhere you can on social media. Let's stop this nonsense. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video. The actors get pissed, they start cursing. They're tired of rehearsing. They're ready to do the damn show. They're ready to go. You know what I mean? Fuck the quarantine. Fuck COVID-19. Fuck a fucking vaccine. Social engineering at the center stage. About to go full circle when we turn the page. Miss Deborah Burks, you old bitch, putting COVID on old bits and certificates. It's ridiculous. We, we should be enraged and irate at our newfound fate and change the current state of mind control.